overseas tonight into Turkey, where there are major new developments after the attempted coup there. Thousands of pro-government supporters have been taking to the streets amid a public display of mourning at funerals for those now called martyrs. And tonight, the United States is now caught in the middle, with Turkey now demanding the U.S. deport the Turkish cleric in Pennsylvania they claim helped fuel this. ABC's Alex Marquardt from Istanbul. With the rebellion crushed, tonight the reckoning. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan tightening his already iron grip. More than 6,000 people now under arrest. Many of the rebel soldiers herded together, beaten by mobs, and loaded onto buses. New video tonight shows the first moments of the attempted coup. This clip from the president's office of a tank barreling through traffic. Turkey's government now with threatening words for the Obama administration, demanding the extradition of the Turkish cleric who lives in Pennsylvania, whose supporters they accuse of spearheading the uprising. The chaos also meaning that direct flights to and from the U.S. are still canceled, leaving many Americans here trying to get out. Flights just weren't going in or out, and uh, so we were pretty well uh, stuck. Flights have resumed from the airbase here in Turkey that the U.S. uses to bomb ISIS after it was shut down. But many are wondering here tonight if this purge and unrest will affect Turkey's crucial role in going after the terror group. David? Alex Marquardt with us again tonight. Alex, thank you.